Hi, Peter. Great to see you yesterday at the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on uh, what we worked on. So, you're, we didn't spend long on the swing, but I know you wanted me to just have a quick look at it because you tended to hit a few what you said pull shots. Uh, and to me, I'd describe it more as sort of a high loopy draw. So, um, let's have a run through your swing. Do not want to change too much because now you've got quite a few things coming up at the moment and you tend to hit it pretty good in general. But you can see as you're coming into impact here, how straight your arms are. Way too straight coming into impact. Uh, so that causes you tend to sort of flip the club underneath the ball and you tend to get this sort of big raking draw uh, when you're not sure when it's coming. So really easy. I just wanted you to work on literally just trying to what I'd call compress the ball. So I should sort of set up here and hit that second line. And once you got used to hitting through it, and especially on the grass, trying to take quite a big divot, but in front of the ball, you really started to get some very good results and very, very neutral ball flight. And that's really all I wanted you to work on. If you just look at Woods here on the right, as he starts to wind up, great back swing as he starts down. Keep an eye on the relationship between his left arm and his wrists and the club. Look how much lag he produces here coming into impact. Now from here, he's only going to get like uh, his hands to go past the ball and he's only going to be able to hit down ball. And you can see now turf ripping through the ground. Look how straight that club head is. And that's just him working on compressing the ball, gets the purest strike, downward motion, you're going to get the most out of the golf club. So if he's hitting six iron there, he's turning that into a five. Well, I thought you was hitting six iron and turning it into a seven iron because you were sort of scoop, hanging back and scooping. So just work on them divots for me, Peter, and that really helped. With regards to your chipping, you wanted to do some bumper runs. At the moment, I know it's early days what we've done, but I would keep the same principle. Still keep feeling that you're going to let the club just naturally slide under it. And the key when you're playing a bump and run with like an 8-iron or 9-iron with that method is to grip it so loose. The looser you can grip it, the more that actually we can actually feel the club head just passes our hands a little bit. We're not trying to slide it under too much, but we just want it to pass. We do not want to lead with left because that's where your, you know, your sort of yip stroke can sometimes come in. So just keep doing what you're doing. Just trust it. Started to see some good results with that yesterday, and I was really impressed with the sandwich shots. You know, you, the longer shots you, where you feel like you've got a bit more time, that was good. It was literally the shots from where you are there to maybe here, you know, sort of six, seven yards away, where you sort of rush it and get a little bit jerky. Really soft grip. Just allow that club head just to la naturally sort of just slide under or, or just pass your hands. That is the feeling. But otherwise, Peter, I think it's going in the right direction really well, and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon.